haven't watched wrestling in 10 years, but here are my 2023 SummerSlam predictions. If y'all see me at SummerSlam, don't be afraid to say hi. I'm very nice. I'm not going in any particular order, but in the first match, we have the SummerSlam Battle Royal, and this is who I think is going to win it. L. A. Knight. Yeah. The reason why I think he's going to win the match is he's on the come up, and I hope he gets a future title shot in the future. In the second match, we have Logan Paul versus Ricochet. And in this match, I want Lo uh, Ricochet to win because I want Logan and Jake Paul to both take L's in the same day. And plus, I'm not that big of a Jake Paul and Logan Paul fan. In the third fight, third match, we have Ronda Rousey versus Shanna Baszler, I think that's how you pronounce it. I want Ronda Rousey to win because I always watched her in the UFC. And she was my favorite, one of my favorite UFC fighters back then. And and I just, I'm, I'm excited to see her fight again. So I want her to win. I know that uh, Ronda, uh, Shanna Baszler turned her back on Ronda. And I also want... Ronda Rousey to get her revenge. I want Ronda Rousey to make her tap out. In the next match, we have Cody Rhodes' American Nightmare versus Brock Lesnar. I've watched both, both, both of these two wrestle for a long time. But I really hope Cody Rhodes wins this fight. Because I'm, I'm I'm a bigger Cody Rhodes fan than Brock Lesnar. And w watching Brock Lesnar like 2012, 2013-ish, I really didn't like him. So I hope Cody Rhodes kicks Brock Lesnar's ass. For this next match, we have Gunther versus Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship. I, I know Gunther's probably going to win. But I'm really hoping Drew McIntyre is going to win. Because uh, when Drew McIntyre first started, I wasn't really a big fan. But ever since he came back to WWE, I've became a big fan of Drew McIntyre. And I just hope he gets the title. And and I hope Gunther's number of day streak, streak ends at SummerSlam. That streak is meant to be broken. By the, by the one and only Drew McIntyre. For the next match, we have the triple threat match between Asuka, Bianca Belair, and Charlotte Flair for the WWE Women's title. I I keep going back and forth between this fight because I'm, I'm, okay, I'm not a big Asuka fan. Let's be real. I'm, I'm, I'm a big Bianca Belair fan. And, and I'm more of a Charlotte fan. But out of those three, I like Bianca Belair the most. Because she's pretty. For this next fight, we have uh, Seth freaking Rollins versus Finn Balor for the World Heavyweight Championship. I really hope Seth Rollins wins. I think Seth Rollins is going to win. Because from the Judgment Day, Damien Priest is going to come in and, and distract uh, Finn Balor at the end and cost him the match. But I really hope Damien Priest cashes in to become the World Heavyweight Championship. Cashes in for the next match. We have Roman, the Tribal Tree Chief Roman Reigns. Versus Jay Uso for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. 
probably I'll keep going back and forth because I want Jay Us to win. But I don't think he's gonna win. And I really I just want Roman Drain Street to end. He has held the championship for too long. And if he wins at SummerSlam, I think he's gonna keep it to WrestleMania and lose the rock. And I've watched Roman Reigns grow up from like the Shield days and and also has followed Jimmy and Jey Uso from like the beginning. So I'm I'm gonna say Jey Uso's gonna win. I really hope that either Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, The Rock, or The Undertaker return at SummerSlam. I just hope they make an appearance.